really brings it all together is when I see the board working and it fulfills its purpose and I go, that's, that's it. And that's where I, I get pleasure out of this. It was probably the, the best board I've hand shaped in six to 12 months because I, the last time I hand shaped the board was about 12 months ago. Technology has changed. The process has changed a little bit, but as far as design, designs are still come out of uh, uh, testing and background knowledge and, and um, experience. The best shapers, the most skilled shapers, can bring it to life with whatever tools they use. The goal is to reach what's what's in here. The important thing is if if you've actually hit the mark, you've got a board that works well, is to being able to repeat that process too. And that the whole thing is the, the value that the technology brings now is that we're able to, to raise our level of consistency. And, 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 that, and you know who wins? It's the surfer. If you look at every model, there's, there's um, you see it comes from a family tree. Like the amplifier, it actually came, it's like it's third or fourth generation of another design. Every once in a while, there'll be a need, we need to do something different or, or um, specialize and, and, and very often that starts to evolve into other designs. Talking to the individual surfer, whether he's a beginner, intermediate, or, or a pro. And so they all have different needs and it's, it's really my responsibility to ask the right questions and to discern what they're, what they're really saying to me and what they really need and to create something that is going to work for them. It's an extension of myself. I see design all around me. And so for me, just to get a, a little bit, a little slice of that whole process and see like, well, you know what? That board took thought. It wasn't a random thing. It just didn't come together by accident. And that's where I, I get pleasure out of this.